Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I'm not going to work on the Range Rover. I have my snow thrower that um, needs some attention. We need to change the drive belt that drives the actual snow throwing mechanism in front there. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the belts on one of these. I'm figuring it might be quite similar on um, a lot of these machines. So um, let's have a go at it and see how it goes. We need to remove these six bolts, three on each side, to separate the engine and drive from the snow thrower. But first we need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. So that this wire and mechanism for the pulley pull system can actually move and come with the front end of the snow thrower. We'll remove this pin so that we can take out this handle that controls the tilting and turning of the snow thrower. Then we'll take our uh, ratchet and undo these 10 millimeter bolts here. Now I can pull this away and it's loose like so. Then I'll undo these uh, 13 millimeter bolts here. I'll do the same on the other side, so I'll be right back. Now that everything's been uh, unbolted, you can see I can move the parts, the each individual parts from each other. I'll put some uh, lumber under here to um, make it easier to line it up and I'm going to put it back together. And then I'm going to try and separate the two halves easily without, so without trying to tip everything over. We have everything separated. I'll just try and get this wire out of the way. Now we can easily access the, the flywheel for the thrower. Here you can see the old belt. It's just snapped off. It was worn out, old and uh, just snapped in the middle of plowing. So I got a couple of new belts here. Check your uh, machine to see what size uh, belt it is. I'm going to try a little bit smaller belt because the old belt was a little bit um, floppy and would jump easily off. On this other side, you have to um, loosen the pulley like this by pushing on it to get the belt onto the flywheel. And this is the reason why it's hard to do without um, separating the thrower from the engine on this particular model. Because it's really hard to get the belt to slide between the bracket here and get it onto the actual flywheel. There we go. And once it's on, it's uh, not easily going anywhere. So I'm going to put it back together because I need to loop it around the flywheel on the engine. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to tilt everything back together. Make sure it lines up. Then I'm going to put one nut and a washer on each, each, each side. Just to keep it together so it doesn't separate when I'm working on the belt. So I'm putting on the middle nut and washer just to keep the machine together so it doesn't flip over or do anything unexpected. Once we get it together we can uh, try and get the belt over the engine pulley like that. Put some more <coughs> nuts and washers back in place. Do the same on the other side. Tighten up all the nuts. I'm not using too much torque right now because I want to make sure everything works before I finally torque everything up. Doing the same on the other side of course. I'm starting with the middle bolt so that I get the, the throwing uh, 
mechanism pulled straight onto the engine and then I'm tightening the two upper and lower bolts. You probably can change the belt without separating the engine and the drawer but I found it much much easier to do this even though you spend 10 minutes um, undoing and uh, redoing these bolts. You might spend 10 minutes trying to struggle to get the belt on. Then we're going to put in the two bolts to uh, fasten up this uh, adjustment mechanism. Put on our handle for the snow throwing outlet back on. Insert our pin and we'll put on our wire clamp to hold the wires to the handlebar again. It came off during the disassemble. I guess that wire is supposed to be on the other side. Like that. Of course grease up all this before you put it back together then it comes off much easier. Then it's time to start it up. Use air protection and see if um, everything works as intended. Let me guys get you guys a better view of uh, everything. Not too bad. I'll put on the cover over here so that nobody gets injured getting fingers in here. And I'll adjust the handle a little bit. It's um, needs slackening a little bit. It's a little bit hard to engage the pulley. So that's a thumbs up. Works pretty good. Ready to hit the new snow when it comes. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Hope you found this uh, useful and interesting. There are more intro videos coming soon, I'm just waiting for some parts and stuff, and then Christmas is just around the corner, so um, hang in there, there will be some videos. See you guys in the next video.